So welcome ladies and gentlemen, we're back today with some more PES 2016 action, this time Juventus taking on Bayern Munich, I haven't shown these two or me playing against them so I thought why not, we are playing as Bayern Munich, yes this is on manual once again, it really is as I've said before the only way to play this game now, I'm obsessed with it, absolutely obsessed with it, why? Because it gives you a challenge, you have to work for it and you'll see, you'll see why in this game here, the possession, the passing, the movement, is quality. And there's a look at Juventus, you know, with the 4-4-2, sort of play a diamond formation. Morata, Tevez up top. And then Bayern Munich, got to put Robert in there straight away, I don't know why he's on the bench. And we put him in there with Ribéry and Lewandowski. And Thomas Miller will possibly make an appearance in the second half. But it is rainy, wet conditions. Otherwise, playing under the floodlight. So here we go. A chance to see how this one gets underway. There's a couple of goals, so you guys uh, won't be bored. I hope you guys aren't. But you're going to see playing on manual the way it really should be played. The way you try and keep possession. The way the ball doesn't just go straight to players' feet. Because in the real world, no. The ball doesn't go right to your feet all the time. There's always going to be mistakes. And I have to say, the likes of Philip Lahm in there, you can really tell him and Xabi Alonso workaholics. Phenomenal at getting the ball back. I mean, this was a the straight off the bat here. Trying to play that one over the top. Fell nicely towards Ribéry. But he's uh, unlucky there to try and keep it in play. But I thought, I'd, you know, I'd give Bayern Munich more of a, more of a go. We know they're the better, one of the best teams in the demo. A lot of quality in there. So I thought, play against Juventus, see what we can do. Because they're definitely uh, no joke. That's a lovely pass there by Ribéry, getting it towards Benatia. And the referee there seeing the foul. You can see here, just gets ahead of Pogba. Bit of an elbow uh, to the chops. To Benatia. Finding Robin, and this is what it's all about now. When I get the ball with Robin, I'm going to be looking to score with him all the time. And this wasn't a decent, it was a great attempt by him. I think, I don't know if R2 at the moment or R1 because I switched controls, so R1 for me is curl. It's a little bit overpowering, I think. From Definitely from distance, you can really get a decent strike in it. I'm not sure what Robin's looking at here. He's all over the place, but it was a nice strike. Tipped away by Buffon well. But well, I do think I've scored, you know, a decent amount of goals. Sort of using R1, bending one into the far corner. It was Goethe, strike was deflected. But this is good possession by me here. I don't know, 12 minutes played. Juventus are on the ropes. Yes, we are playing on Superstar yet again. 10 minute game. You see there, Boateng actually went to the ball. I didn't ask for him to do that. I did it on, you know, did it on himself. Which is fantastic with the AI doing that. And there's another great run by Iron Robin. Every time he gets the ball, you just feel like a magician with him. So another chance for the corner. Fizz this one in by Xabi Alonso. Looking for Ribéry. And Benatia gets ahead of his man. Whips one in. Looking for Lahm. Decent chance. Tipped away. I think that was uh, Chiellini getting a little bit of a head on that one. Juventus playing that long hopeful ball for Tevez but didn't really have any support you can see a lot of players slipping as well especially when it's raining which is great to see I think it'll be nice as well if they added just a couple more sort of animations when they fall down just to, just to give the game a little bit more life to it not, not really complaining didn't quite get that one two right there but that's what's going to happen you are going to make mistakes nothing wrong with that it's all about biding your time. You see there Dante this time slipping all over the shop. Pogba's pass was a poor one. He's giving it away. Now finds Lahm. I decided, you know what, I'm going to start again and try and just work this round. Saw the overlapping run here by Alaba. Marquisio giving chase. But what a ball that was from Alaba. Robin, Robin, and then Robin. Finally in. But that cross, I don't think that would have happened if I had it on assist. No way. I whipped that one in with L1 and cross. Got the analogue spot on. And the delivery 
was phenomenal. And then it came off, I think it came off Buffon's nuts, then his butts, then his butt cheeks. And then finally Robin put it in. But look at this. What a delivery that is. Takes a touch. Comes off his arm. Comes off his butt. And then it's in the back of the net. Another look at it from this angle. Just a delicious, delicious ball in. Robin gets there. Great touch. Decent save there. Because Buffon was all over the place. He couldn't do much about it. And then Robin slides in. So yeah, take a 1-0 lead. And it was fantastic stuff. And I can also say, I mean, that's not a bad idea. But we know Noyes in goal. It's going to be out like a flash. You'll see him a couple of times coming. Uh, Mike was off his line. But his ID's different class. That's what I love about Pez, though. Is the player ID. You know, they do have it spot on for certain players. Neuer is Neuer. We know that. The likes of Ronaldo and Neymar. All fantastic. But I, I've, I've got to say, I've scored more goals now playing on manual. Because I'm taking my time up. You know, when I'm making chances. It was a decent attempt by Marata. But I've scored more goals because I'm actually working the ball forward. I'm passing. Move. It's not... I think when you play unassisted, you know the game is going to do the work for you. And, you know, I've got no problems if anyone who plays unassisted, that's up to you. It's your prerogative. And if you enjoy it that way, that is fine. But I'll tell you what, if you haven't had a go on it, try it. Put it on manual. Play with Bayern Munich if you have to, you know, against one of the lower teams. But you will see how much more enjoyable this game is if you want an authentic, realistic game of football. Lovely one too there with Tevez, but Alaba read it well. And then that's slipping. And players will slide, but they don't slip for no reason. It's, it's almost like they fall down when they're accelerating and then they try and quickly turn as quick as possible. I'm not sure what happened here. Look at this glitch. Not sure. That was very strange. Something that hopefully we're not going to see too many times. But once again, just working it forward. Rivery putting it into space to find Robert Lewandowski. Then I was looking for Robin, as always. Skip past one. Then it was a good challenge by Vidal. Bubba Tang slipping this time. Marata starting again with the former Manchester United man of Patrice Evra. Looking for Marata. Decent pass. Neuer was out in a flash. Decent save by him. And then Dante clearing it off the line. Fantastic defending by the big bushy centre back. Neuer came out. I mean, Neuer did the right thing. Couldn't do much else. You can see, just still dictating the play. It's a good challenge by Pogba. The AI will slide an awful lot more now. And you'll see here, this is what Neuer does. I mean, he's on his bike. He doesn't care. He's still trying to get there. And then it does roll out for a Bayern Munich throw. Well, I really am looking forward to Master League now. Because this is probably how I'm going to do it. I know it's going to be really difficult. Playing with no support. But... I think it will be a really, really good authentic Master League. And even if I'm the likes of Manchester United, it's going to be tough. But anyway, there is half time, leading 1 0. So we get the second half underway. I did make one change. Brought on Thomas Muller for uh, Mario Goetze. Decided to leave on Ribéry just to see what he could do in the second half. But so far, you know, I've contained Juventus. Done quite well to keep possession. Let's see what we can do in this second half. Decide to find Lam. Really makes a difference when you have him in there with Xabi Alonso. A bow attack. Finding Bonatia. Robin wants it as always. He'll try and hold his man off. Great feat by him. Decided to start again with Lam. Work it around. Alaba. Then I got caught there. It was a little bit too uh, cocky, really, by me. Alaba working hard. Marquisio looking for Marata. Dante getting just enough on it. It's a little bit scrappy. That's like, wasn't, just what you like to see. A little bit of a scrap fest every now and then. Ribéry was just trying to find Alaba because I saw the overlapping run. Thomas Muller, fantastic feat by him. Back towards Lam. Bonatia. Just trying to get half a yard. Robin up against Chiellini. He knows what he wants to do. 
And he's still going here, Robin. Still going. Blistering run. And then smashing it past the post. That's what you get when you get Robin. You know he's quick. A little bit of trickery, a little bit of quickness. Gets half the... I would have liked to see Pogba do something there because he sort of just ran away. Buffon probably would have had it covered. Vidal, decent header by him. Once again, Philip Lahm's there. Always a handful. You can see uh, I've used Robin a lot this game. I, I haven't used Ribéry enough, really, down that other side of the wings. Probably do need to try and find him. He's calling for it, but he's not really in any kind of space to find him. Juventus get it back. It was a decent challenge by Müller. Got a bit of player, a bit of man, a bit of ball, a bit of everything. And here comes Lahm again. He's had a great game. PLO read the pass. And Juventus, they've had a hard time. You know, they're trying to break me down. It hasn't really happened for them. You know, playing balls like that hasn't really worked out too well. But I have seen Juventus play differently. You know, it's just sort of the way the game's gone. They will play different balls, different passes, depending on the situation. But I really do think that playing like this has sort of helped my game out quite a bit because uh, it's just more fun, more precise. That's what it's all about. Lovely turn there by Robin, as always. Decided to, to swing one in. Wasn't a decent decent attempt far too close to the keeper so again Juventus they've, they've tried to play those long balls this hasn't worked for them this game they've kept control of the midfield Muller, Lahm Muller, that's lovely nice bit of interplay and then Muller's strike very much like Robbins wide of the mark but a great one too Thomas Muller getting it out of his feet well. Battle in the air by Benatia. Against Vidal. Muller. He's had a good game since he's come on Thomas Muller. Place of Mario Goethe. Benatia. Towards Philip Lahm. You guys just see how different this game looks, though, when you play on this now. It really does look quite realistic, to say the very least. There isn't that ping-pongy type football, which, you know, I don't enjoy too much. And I could abuse it, there's no question. I could abuse it, but, you know, if I'm going to get this type of football now in Master League and stuff, it's going to be thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyable. You can see Pulper there was a couple of yards offside. Because the AI as well, they're not, they're not overpowering. I don't see them sort of cheating their way to a win at the moment. You know, and I really hope the full game isn't massively different to the demo. I just hope they fix the little things. I don't think they will, to be fair. But we'll have to wait and see. I mean, they can always release a patch and say, OK, we've tweaked the goalies a little bit more. We've made it so that the AI will foul a little bit more. The referee's a little bit better. You know, the glitches have all been sorted. But overall this year, I'm very, very looking forward to Pez. If you guys have seen my Twitter, I've uh, definitely been praising the game. And why not? I'll call it as it is. I've played Pez religiously over the years. I've played FIFA a lot as well. I know what I like. I know what I dislike. I know what's good. I know what isn't. Everyone has a, an opinion. And I have mine. I gave it away sloppily there. And this was a nice move here by Juventus. It was Marata whipping it out wide, finding Evra inside to find Pogba. Great pass towards Marquisio. And that is Neuer in a nutshell. Marquisio goes to the ground. He knows, he knows that was a chance. But lovely football. Great pass here by Pogs. And then a one-touch finish, but great save by the German. A chance for the corner. Five minutes to play. Pirlo looking for Marata. Got it away. I, for some reason, I decided to head that with Ribery when I could have just played it to Lewandowski on the floor. The ball was whipped in. Missed everyone. 
Neuer picked it up. Coming into the final few minutes, Juventus have sort of turned the screw in the last 10 minutes. But generally, I have possessed the game pretty well. Spanatia looking for Ribéry. Muller, anyway, will do now. Robin, challenged by Pogba. And there it is, the full-time whistle. So we snag a 1-0 win, a lovely ball in by Alaba to find Robin. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. Lots more content to come. I'm actually heading away shortly, so the videos may be slacking a little bit, but we will be back. You can see there, there is the shot count. See Juventus' pass completion was pretty low that game. But until next time, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.